I am Anil Kumar sharing with you solution of few questions which have been asked from my subscribers in different continents. The funny part is that both have asked for very similar question. Uh, since I don't have really time to make different videos, in this particular video I'll adopt mixed approach and I hope both get benefited. So this could be rather long. I'm still learning how to address people in different continents, especially when English is not our first language. The question here is, A is the point of intersection of the lines 3x minus y equals to 7 and x plus 4y plus 2 equals to 0. Find part A is the equation of the line in normal form which passes through A and is parallel to the line 2x plus 3y minus 40 equals to 0. Part B is find the perpendicular distance of A from the line 2x minus 3y minus 40 equals to 0. So the question from one student is the question itself and from the other student is to understand how to write equations in normal form and therefore in this particular video I will <coughs> and uh, the other student is not really into vectors uh, so my difficulty I hope you can understand so I'll have a mixed uh, approach where a student who hasn't done vectors uh, could be in a position to understand and whenever time permits, I'll make a separate video uh, on this topic. Okay, so let's begin. We say A is a point of intersection of these two lines, right? So let's find that point of intersection A. So that's my first part. Uh, so first part is find point of intersection, right? So we are working with two lines, which is 3x minus y equals to 7 and we have x plus 4y plus 2 equals to 0. Now you could do substitution or elimination to get to this result. Uh, let me just multiply the second equation by 3 so I get 3x plus 12y and I'll take 2 to the right side so it becomes negative 2 equals to minus 6 right so I'll be using these two equations to find the point of intersection so if I subtract the first one from the second keeping y positive right so we get 13y equals to minus 6 minus 7 minus 13 or we get y equals to minus 13 over 13 which is equals to minus 1 correct so I hope this is very straightforward so this is equation number 1 and that is equation number 2 at this step we did equation number 2 minus equation number 1 once you get x I mean y you can find x so substituting y minus 1 here I get 3x minus minus 1 equals to 7 and taking this to the right side it becomes minus 1 so so that gives me x equals to uh, 7 minus 1 divided by 3 which is 2 correct Okay, so we got the point of intersection A now. So we say point of intersection is 2 minus 1. So that is the point A we are talking about. Now we know point of intersection. Now the question is the equation of line in normal form which passes through A and is parallel to the given line. So what we will do is, we will write in scalar form or Cartesian form or the standard form. So now we know uh, parallel 
to line uh, let me write down this line which is 2x plus 3y minus 40 equals to 0 and pass through we write the point A which is 2 minus 1 correct now since the lines are parallel uh, this equation also gives you normal which is 2 and 3 the normals will be same uh, and you know the slope will be same so basically the equation will be will be these coefficients are going to be same and therefore I could write this will be 2x plus 3y however we don't know what this constant will be so we can calculate this constant c by substituting 2 minus 1 so that makes the line parallel to the given line passing through point a so I'll now substitute 2 minus 1 here I get 2 times 2 plus 3 times minus 1 plus c equals to 0 and that is 4 minus 3 plus c equals to 0 or this is 1 plus c equals to 0 or c is equals to minus 1 <coughs> so once you get c you can actually write down the equation which is definitely 2x plus 3y minus 1 equals to 0 correct so we have done this but we have written equation in scalar form or Cartesian form or standard form so let me write this is in standard form so I have still not answered the uh, question for the other student and try to give you a concept of writing this into normal form assuming uh, that you know the basics right so okay so so what we can do here is think about it like this think about it like this we have a let me sketch the line and explain some concepts before I move forward we have our line 2x plus 3y minus 1 it could be sketched uh, using intercepts so the x intercepts will be if I equate y to 0 I get half right taking this on this side and the y intercept will be equating x to 0 I get uh, 1 over 3 so so the line could be sketched kind of like this okay so this is a uh, 1 by 3 the y intercept and this is the x intercept which is half when we want to write equation of a line in normal form it is with respect to distance from the origin we normally say this distance is p so that is the word p is normally used here and uh, that is what it is <coughs> so distance is p from the origin to the line and uh, yeah. the normal form is normally written in the form of uh, let me write here x cos omega plus y sine omega equals to p where omega is the angle with the normal right uh, so normal and the positive x-axis so omega is this angle right uh, you may use any symbol here so it's an angle with positive x-axis which the normal makes for the given line okay so that makes sense okay so that is the kind of equation and you can compare these two equations it is 2x plus 3y minus 1 so what I will do is I'll try to write this equation in that form. So that is the exercise which I'll do now. So we have 2x plus 3y. Let me take 1 to the other side. 1. You know this value of sine and cosine should be less than 1. So what we do is the we are interested in the unit vector coming back here on, of the normal y. So, so we divide both sides by square root of sum of 2 square and 3 square right so both side we will divide by we call this let's say a equals to square root of 2 square plus 3 square 
So, which is square root of 4 plus 9, which is 13. So, a is square root of 13. So, what we'll do now is divide this equation, which is 2x plus 3y equals to 1 by square root of 13. Right? So, I hope this step is clear. I'm squeezing in a lot of information, small space. Now, that gives you that the distance from the origin to the line is 1 over square root 3. That's the beauty of this equation. And it also tells you what is the value of cos omega and sine omega, which can help you find the angle omega, which the normal makes with positive x-axis, right? So we can say cos omega equals to 2 over square root 13, right? And that means, uh, that implies that omega equals to uh, cos inverse of 2 over square root 13, correct? Now, since both are positive, we show that they are, <coughs> <coughs> since uh, both cos and sine are positive, we are sure we are in quadrant 1, right? So at times you have to also check in which quadrant, <coughs> <coughs> so at times you have to also check in which quadrant you are working that's very important in this particular case we are in quadrant one so the angle which we calculate will be the right angle so cos of 2 divided by square root of 13 bracket code equals 2 we got the answer as uh, omega equals to uh, 56.3 okay oh, sorry 56.3 degrees once we know the angle omega and we also know what p is we can write down the equation in normal form which becomes uh, so cos omega is 2 over square root 3 and now we'll write in angles right so we have x cos of 56.3 degrees plus y sine of 56.3 degrees equals to 1 over square root 13. Is it okay? So 1 over square root 13. That becomes the equation of the line in normal form, right? So what we have found here is point A, which is 2 minus 1. And here we have found the equation of the line as let me write both the forms 2x plus 3y minus 1 equals to 0 or in that form x cos 56.3 plus y sine 56.3 equals to 1 over square root 30 right so that is how you can answer part a now let's move on and answer part b so in part b we'll find the perpendicular distance of a from the line 2x plus 3y minus 40 okay so let's continue uh, we are working on this question where a is the point of intersection of the line 3x minus y equals to 7 and x plus 4y plus 2 equals to 0. Now we need to find the perpendicular distance of a from the line 2x plus 3y minus 40 equals to 0. In part a, we calculated part a of this question, which was that the point a is actually, let me copy the values, is 2 minus 1. And equation of this line, let me call L1, is uh, 2x plus 3y uh, minus 1 equals to 0. So that becomes parallel to, well, I didn't copy the part A here. Well, so anyway, so that is the equation of the line on which point A lies, right? So, and we need to now find a perpendicular distance of A from the given line. Is it okay? So straight away, I'm going to use the equation, yes, uh, and it was known that this line is parallel to, it is parallel to, as you can say, the given line, which is 2x, which is, which is 2x 
plus 3y minus 40 equals to 0. <coughs> so you can solve this distance part in two different ways. Uh, one is you can choose point with line formula. The other is uh, distance uh, between parallel lines. Now, the two approaches here are mainly because uh, two students from different places are interested in similar question. Okay, so I'm going to use the formula straight away uh, to write down these answers. So the distance here is equals to, let me write down the formula which I'm using, ax1 plus uh, bx2 plus c over square root of a square plus b square absolute value since distance is always positive correct so since the point is 2 minus 1 and the line is 2x plus 3y minus 40 we'll substitute x as 2 y as minus 1 so what we get here is uh, 2 times 2 plus 3 times uh, minus 1 minus 40 divided by square root of 2 square plus 3 square, correct? So that gives you the absolute value of distance, right? Now that can be calculated using the calculator. Uh, so let's do it. <coughs> Denominator we know is square root 13. Anyway, and uh, okay, let's do it here. So let me move this to the right side. So we have distance t equals to absolute value of 4 minus 3 minus 40 over square root of 13 uh, which is equal to 39 over square root of 13 correct so that is how you can get the distance using the formula which you've learned in vectors and uh, for some students between parallel lines uh, the formula is very straightforward uh, which is c2 minus c1 let me write down the formula here, uh, <coughs> c2 minus c1 over square root of a square plus b square, right? <coughs> okay, so so the for c1 and c2 values are minus 40 and minus 1, right? These are the constant values which you get. Okay, so, so we get here as we could write any one of them first. So 40 minus minus 1 divided by square root of 2 square plus 3 square. So this is distance between two parallel lines, correct? And uh, that becomes positive, so you get absolute value is 39. So you have to write positive value for distance over square root 13. So any method you use, you get the same value. You understand, correct? So that is how I think you can solve the question. And I hope my purpose of satisfying both of you uh, has been done, accomplished. Anyway, feel free to write your comments, share your views, and let me know if something was left. Thanks and all the best.